Okay, so if everything worked out as it should have, you will have seen one of the following two lists of traits. Now, when we look at the generosity ratings, you should notice something curious. Most people who saw the first list would have tended to think that Mike was not very generous. Those who saw the second list generally thought that Mike was generous. This is what Ash found when he presented the same list to research participants. So what's going on? Well, if you take a close look at the two lists of traits, you'll see that there's only one difference between them. In the first list, Mike is described as being cold, while in the second list, he's described as being warm. Surely if we're forming our impressions algebraically, the two lists should have produced pretty similar impressions. They only differ by one word after all. However, this is not what happened. The reason why warm and cold make such a difference is because according to Ash, they are central traits. This means that they give meaning to the other traits that are presented. These other traits are the peripheral traits. So, someone who is described as being warm, intelligent, determined and industrious sounds like a pretty good person. You probably want them helping with your assignment or working in your team at work. Someone described as being cold, intelligent, determined and industrious sounds a bit scarier, more like a serial killer. They probably have a coil rope and shovel and some black plastic sheeting in the back of their car just in case the opportunity arises. Now, you might be thinking that the warm-cold pairing produces the different impressions because warm is a positive word and cold is a negative word. Ash thought about that too. He also showed his participants another pair of positive and negative words, namely polite and blunt. As you can see from Ash's results, there was a systematic difference in the impressions when people were shown warm versus cold. The person was seen as being more generous, wiser and happier and more good-natured. For those shown polite versus blunt, there was no such systematically more positive impression. There were no differences in how generous the person was seen as, and the person was actually seen as wiser when blunt was presented. So if you want to appear smart, just be a bit rude perhaps. Now, polite people were seen as being more good-natured though. So Ash thought this meant that impressions were not formed algebraically, but rather that an impression is based on an emergent pattern that depends on the total context of the information that you have access to.